For 45 centuries, the Great Pyramid of Giza has been the ultimate symbol of human ambition. It is a man-made mountain of stone, built with a precision that baffles engineers even today. We're told it was built with simple tools and immense manpower, but the sheer scale of the operation is hard to comprehend. So it begs the question, could we do it today? Not with an army of workers, but with the pinnacle of modern lifting technology. Let's be clear, this is a thought experiment, a fascinating comparison of engineering capabilities. Could one of our most advanced cranes conquer history's greatest structural challenge? The answer reveals that the true test isn't just about raw lifting power, it's about reach, repetition, and a very specific kind of problem that pushes even our best equipment to its absolute limit. Before we select our machine, we need to understand the sheer scale of the job. The Great Pyramid is a mountain of man-made stone, standing a colossal 146.7 meters tall on a square base measuring 230.6 meters per side. Its footprint covers 13 acres, an area that could comfortably swallow 10 American football fields. It's constructed from an estimated 2.3 million individual blocks, with the average block weighing in at a substantial 2.5 metric tons, the same as a modern pickup truck. To tackle a job defined by relentless verticality and repetition, the logical starting point for any modern project manager would be a tower crane. For this task, we would need to select a machine from the upper echelon of lifting technology something like the Liebherr 1000 ECH. This is a titan of the industry, ranking among the most formidable tower cranes available and a familiar sight dominating the skylines of mega projects across the globe. To give you a concrete idea of its capability, with its jib extended out to 80 meters, it can lift a substantial 23 metric tons. This level of power makes it perfectly almost surgically suited for the vast majority of the pyramid's mass. The standard 2.5 ton limestone blocks would represent a tiny fraction of its capacity, allowing for a fast and efficient duty cycle. From a central position, it could handle the 90% of the structure composed of these blocks, which amounts to a staggering 2.07 million individual lifts. The potential timeline it could achieve is breathtaking. With a single skilled operator, this crane could place all 2.07 million of those blocks in an estimated 750 days. This figure accounts for a realistic schedule, including approximately 700 days of pure operational time and an additional 50 days allocated for crucial, non-negotiable downtime. On any modern site, daily safety checks, weekly servicing, and periodic major inspections are mandatory to combat mechanical fatigue this battle against wear and tear is constant. Factoring this in from the start gives us a more practical, real-world timeline. Even with this schedule, for nine-tenths of the project, this crane is a hyper-efficient solution. But deep within the structure lies a hidden challenge that stops this modern marvel dead in its tracks. Deep inside the pyramid, at a height of roughly 136 feet, lies the king's chamber. It's an engineering masterpiece, a granite vault designed to protect the pharaoh's final resting place for eternity. Its roof is not made of average blocks, but of massive, monolithic granite beams, quarried hundreds of miles away in Aswan and weighing up to 80 metric tons each. For the Liebherr 1000 ECH, lifting these specific blocks to that specific location at a required horizontal radius of 80 meters is simply impossible. At that distance, the crane's maximum lifting capacity is fixed by the laws of leverage at 23 tons. Attempting to lift an 80-ton beam would represent a 348% overload. This isn't a small margin of error that could be pushed. It's a catastrophic failure point. The steel would groan, the structure would buckle, and the entire machine would collapse in a heap of twisted metal. It proves that even for our modern titans of construction, there are limits. So, when a machine this capable is so completely overwhelmed, 
What level of power is truly required to conquer this ancient challenge? For this single, critical part of the build, our high reach specialist must step aside. The task now requires an entirely different class of machine. This is where we move from the familiar world of high rise construction into the elite tier of global super heavy lift technology. The challenge of the King's Chamber Blocks requires a machine not built for repetition, but for singular moments of immense, almost unimaginable power. The machine for that job is the Sarin's SGC-250, better known as Big Carl. This is one of the most powerful land-based cranes on Earth, a machine of such immense scale that it is reserved for singular decade-long mega-projects, with its current mission being the construction of a nuclear power station. Its maximum lifting capacity is a staggering 5,000 metric tons at a close radius, enough to lift an entire naval destroyer clean out of the water. Its operational setup is a monumental project in itself. Big Carl doesn't just show up on a truck, it arrives in over 200 shipping containers and requires its own circular railway, over three miles long, just to deliver the components. Assembling it is a construction project before the main construction project even begins. Requiring a team of specialized engineers and smaller support cranes working for weeks. It operates on a massive ring track with an outer diameter of nearly 50 meters, allowing it to rotate 360 degrees without ever moving its base. For the pyramid project, this ring would be assembled adjacent to one of the pyramid's base sides a process requiring extensive ground preparation to support its immense weight. From this single heavily reinforced position, it has the reach and power to construct the entire pyramid. To truly understand its capability, let's analyze the most difficult lift, placing the capstone at the apex. This requires lifting a load to a vertical height of 146.7 meters at a horizontal distance from the crane center of approximately 145 meters. Using the Pythagorean theorem, the direct straight line distance from the crane to the apex is about 206.3 meters. This is a phenomenal reach requirement, but Big Carl is engineered for it. With its main boom and heavy duty jib, it has a total effective length of around 260 meters, more than enough for the job. But reach is meaningless without power, and this is where the numbers become almost unbelievable. As any crane operator knows, capacity diminishes with radius. The further out you hold a weight, the heavier it feels. Yet, according to its official load charts, even at that extreme required radius of 145 meters, Big Carl retains a conservative lifting capacity of 950 metric tons. Let's put that in perspective. The 80-ton granite blocks that were an impossible, structure-breaking overload for the tower crane are less than 10% of Big Carl's capacity at that range. The 9-ton capstone is even more trivial, using just 0.53% of its available power. Theoretically, from its position at the base, Big Carl could lift a solid 950-ton block, the weight of six main battle tanks, and place it neatly on top of the pyramid. It is a complete and overwhelming solution to the physical challenge. While Big Carl could undoubtedly build the entire pyramid alone, it wouldn't be the most efficient approach. A machine of its scale is designed for monumental, not repetitive lifts. Using it to place two and a half ton blocks would be like using a sledgehammer to crack a nut. It's wasteful and slow. Its true value is realized when it handles tasks no other machine can. Therefore, the most effective modern blueprint wouldn't rely on a single crane, but on a strategic partnership, a tag team of specialized machines, each playing to its strengths. The optimal workflow would see the Liebherr 1000 ECH tower crane as the primary workhorse. It would handle the first 90% of the build, the 2.07 million standard blocks, at a duty cycle that Big Carl could not hope to match for such small, repetitive lifts. The tower crane is the assembly line worker, fast, efficient, and relentless, placing block after block with practiced precision. 
As construction reaches the king's chamber, the project would pause. The tower crane would fall silent. The site's focus would shift to the colossus waiting at the pyramid's edge. Big Carl, already assembled and waiting on its rail system, would then take over for the critical surgical lifts. Its massive engine would roar to life, and it would precisely place each of the 80-ton granite beams before handing the work back to the tower crane to continue the main structure. Finally, for the last block, Big Carl would perform the ceremonial placement of the capstone. This approach leverages each crane's specific strengths in a choreographed industrial ballet, the tower crane's speed versus the super heavy crane's immense power. Of course, a modern construction of this scale would come at an astronomical cost. The rental and operational cost for these two machines alone would run into the hundreds of millions of dollars. But that's just the start. One must factor in a global supply chain for quarrying and transporting 2.3 million precision cut blocks, extensive ground preparation involving geotechnical surveys and concrete pads, and an army of engineers, surveyors, safety officers, and logistics coordinators working in shifts around the clock. The fuel consumption alone for the fleet of trucks and generators would be immense. The level of project management required would be a monumental undertaking in its own right. The total project budget would easily soar into the tens of billions of dollars. The timeline, even with this crane duo, would likely stretch to three or four years. A sobering reminder that while our technology is powerful, the ancient Egyptians achieved a comparable result with an economy and a labor system that is almost impossible to replicate. It leaves us with a profound question. Is true engineering advancement measured by the power of our tools or by the ingenuity to succeed without them? So, could a modern crane build the Great Pyramid? The answer, yes. The ultimate solution is a partnership. The fast, repetitive work of a tower crane combined with the brute force of a super heavy lifter like Big Carl for the impossible lifts. This blend of speed and power is a testament to modern engineering. Yet it's also a profound acknowledgement of the original builder's genius, who achieved a comparable feat without a single engine, leaving a legacy that still challenges the best we can build today. Thanks for watching Hard Hat Industries, your source for serious machines doing real work. If you like this, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's next. Until then, keep your head down and your gear running.